Hi, this is Camper, and welcome to my journey as I walk the Appalachian Trail from Georgia to Maine, starting in February of 2020. Hey, everybody, Camper here. Uh, this is going to be day one of my three-day shakedown hike. I'm going to be on the North Country Trail. A little map of a section right here. I'm starting right there, and I am going to work my way up to the Spring Lake Campground, about 11 miles, camp for the night, and then head back down to where I'm at right now, at the old US 131 State Forest Campground. And that, that's what I'll do on Saturday. And then Sunday, I'm gonna go about five miles this way, turn around, and come back for a total of 10 miles. Now the North Country Trail winds along the Manistee River for most of this section. And the trail is marked by these really cool blue swashes, or they're also called uh, blue blazes. And the trail is really well manicured by the uh, North Country Trail Conservatory for the Grand Traverse section. Just absolutely beautiful. Just a real pretty section of a trail. Only about half hour in. Just beautiful. Manistee River right there. Kudos to the trail maintainers of the North Country Trail. Just beautiful. The Manistee River is known for just winding through the forest. Beautiful. That's why I chose this as my second shakedown hike location. Beautiful vistas, some challenging ups, but this is what you get rewarded with. Beautiful. Just taking a little break because my Z Packs plastic water bottle clip. Yep, that would be the piece broken. It's only my seventh day of hiking total using this I mean it is what it is is plastic cost less than three bucks but you can see you know it just uh, just definitely not made for any long distance hiking just broke off from the Manistee River and now I am Walking alongside of, I believe it's called the Fife Lake Runoff. It's a nice sandy creek. Looks like pretty good flowing water. I'm gonna need to uh, filter here in a few minutes, so. But, really beautiful trail conditions. Nice breeze, going through the pines in the scrub oak just beautiful and this is my camp for the night i got my trusted nemo hornet two-person tent nice comfortable home while hiking got a nice little campfire going got my stump setting up there with my z-pack seat i boiled a couple cups of water got a mountain house meal beef stroganoff cooking. So yeah, it was a pretty good day and I just kind of stumbled across this stealth campsite. Pretty happy with the location. It's in between two lakes. Uh, that lake straight ahead there uh, to the left there's a nice little sandy area that I could clean off on. So good spot. Morning of day number two.
Got my coffee water going, my oatmeal water. Pretty good night's sleep. Woke up a handful of times. Squirrels dropping acorns down on me or around my tent. But I'm gonna have some coffee, some oatmeal. I got the inside of my tent all packed up. I'll pack my tent up, food bag down, and start going. Heading back. Day two. Oh, I just love the trail in the morning. It's quiet, cool. I wish this video had smell o vision because these pines and the pine needles, you know, in the dew in the morning, oh, it smells so fantastic. You know, nobody in the scent industry has really <laughs> grabbed a hold of that morning dew pine. So there you go, just threw it out there, morning dew pine. Oh, it smells fantastic. But yeah, good energy this morning, pretty good night's sleep. Had a nice cup of coffee, bowl of uh, maple brown sugar oatmeal. So I am energized and ready to go. Beautiful. Just taking a morning break. I'm gonna filter some of this water. Reapply some Bug spray, as you can see, look at those bugs. Have a little snack. And then finish strong, making real good time. Nearing the uh, end of day two. This is just such a cool little section here. Cedars and pines. We got the uh, Manistee River a couple hundred yards to my left. Beautiful big bluffs overlooking the river. The distant sound of the highway is just really a very faint hum, but that's okay. Trail is trail. Getting out, getting some exercise. That's what it's all about. And there's the Manistee. A favorite among kayakers, canoers, and fishermen. Hey everybody, I'm back at uh, old US 131 State Forge Campground. Did 11 miles in about four and a half hours. Pretty happy with that. Hey everybody, as you can see, I'm back home. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about shakedown hike number two and what I learned from it. Uh, the very first thing that I learned from it is, boy, do I love my backpack. I switched out the Hyperlite Windrider 3400, took it back to REI. Um, it just did not handle the weight properly. Um, I was constantly readjusting it. Um, I thought I could get past the uh, fact that it does not have a separation between your back and the pack, but I couldn't. Uh, it just zaps your energy. Uh, and I got the Osprey Atmos AG65, and it is the most comfortable backpack that I have ever worn. It really handles the weight well. It has the shoulder uh, sense, uh, load lifters, I should say, um, but more of adjustable uh, hip belt, and it just handles the weight. It's very comfortable. You can take a break, sit in a log, have a snack, and not even take your pack off. It's that comfortable. Another thing I learned from uh, the second shakedown hike is don't push it. Even though I felt really good in the morning, um, I shouldn't have gone at a fast pace that I did. 
And I know that uh, my philosophy for the Appalachian Trail for at least uh, the first couple states is going to be low and slow, low miles at a slow pace. So that's my recap, uh, what I learned. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you did. And click the bell. It'll send you a notification whenever I put out a new video. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.